The IDF has begun preparations to demolish the homes of the two Palestinian men suspected of stabbing to death the Israeli teen Dvir Solik last week near the West Bank settlement of Migdal Oz. The military says it's measuring the suspects' homes in the Palestinian village of Beit Kahil so that engineers can plan on how to destroy the structures. But still, no date has been set for the demolition. 18-year-old Dvir Solik's body was discovered early Thursday morning on a road leading to the religious seminary where he had been studying as part of a program combining military service and Jewish education. It took security forces a 48-hour manhunt until they were able to arrest the two suspects, Palestinian cousins Nasir Asafra and Qasem Asafra. Nasir's brother and Qasem's wife were also arrested in the raid on their home at 3 a.m. and police are looking into whether or not the two helped the alleged killers hide after the attack. Sorek's father has thanked Israeli security forces for catching the suspected killers, but still says they must work to prevent future terror attacks. Israel claims that the practice of demolishing the homes of terrorists is an effective deterrent for future assaults, but human rights groups believe it's an ineffective form of collective punishment.